come to Minecraft Story Mode. Well, this is episode 1 only. Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren the Architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. This story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. Huh? Huh? What? It's just a dumb question. Forget it. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. <laughs> but don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know... Amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. 
I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's what we okay. do. Oh, okay, that might be true. I can't remember the last time we've won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win at being losers. <laughs> all right, fine. Did you hear that? Totally freaked out. Oh. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig at Endercon. That wasn't funny, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it. You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. <laughs> He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Shear some sheep. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. We really should change the name. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Not too shabby. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Yeah. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. everything let's roll yeah dude roll let's go i heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition but you guys have to promise not to say anything okay also it's in two parts each part more exciting than the last spit it out axel part one the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than gabriel the warrior him freaking self whoa what's part two Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It would be amazing to meet him. Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver. A uh, portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry. To win. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. 
We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. <laughs> Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's that's the same thing. Forget it. Uh, team on three. One, two, three. Team. team. Prepare. <laughs> stuff for it we are so ready this year it's going to be different i'm not just ready to build i'm ready to win nice pig losers oh great there's lucas and the ocelots the rivalry continues man they've got matching leather jackets and everything so cool well 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 if it isn't the order of the losers <laughs> great <laughs> The fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And, uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Nether Maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. We've never even been to the Nether. Who the Nether cares? Okay, Nether Maniacs, you guys are in booth five. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the look of this. That right there is a limited edition. Next time on. Hmm. Nope. Oh, 
like everyone in town is here. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. What are you worried about? We've got this. Who are we kidding? We've got nothing. We've got a mascot. We should probably stop staring at them. Uh, uh, uh. Look, it's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or beverage. I'm talking about your pig. Reuben is not food. Could have fooled me. He looks delicious. That sounded like a weird compliment. You'll have to eat me first. Uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, how's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... Uh... The Builder Bump. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Nether Maniacs can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no! A fireworks dispenser! I'm so scared! You worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. <laughs> Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love a zombie? Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden, that part. The lava's getting closer. It's gonna ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. You guys stay and save the build. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be careful. <laughs> we'll meet up with you at Endercon. Mm. 
Ruben? Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Just oink if you can hear me. Some pigs. Doesn't look like this fire will spread. <sighs> I bet Reuben started this. Reuben, are you in there? Shut up. Yeah. Ruben, it's getting scary out here. Ruben. Ruben! Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Ruben. to see you. Stay 
Wait behind me. I got you. How are you not dead yet? Out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Yeah, this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. You risk your life for that dusty old skull? No, oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm going to exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's going to trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Is a wither skull worth that much? <laughs> Are you kidding? For all the trouble I had to go to get it, I should be asking for much more. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. What's in it for me? Respect. Admiration. Not getting punched in the face for saying that just now. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better. You can make your own. One stick plus two stones... Equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No. We're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. Just place the pieces on the table. Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won. I knew the zombie would put us over the top. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. 
It's always useful to have a guy like that around. No matter what you might think of him personally. Hey, I'll be a gracious winner, but that's it. He'll get one handshake and one good build, good build. Nothing more, nothing less. Just think about it, okay? Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Andercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers! <laughs> Crap. <laughs> ah! This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. The only way off this bridge is through them. Oh, you better you blow up in your front Too many of them! Water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. Just let me know if you see Reuben anywhere. He's got to be here somewhere. I hope you're right. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking. Okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Should I be nervous about this? Given your personality, your life experience, and everything else you've done to make it to this moment, yes. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Couldn't find him, huh? He'll turn up sooner or later. I just know it. I saw him, but before I knew what was happening, we were under attack by a zombie horde. I told him to run. It was for his own good. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't found me. Sorry we didn't come with you, Jesse. But hey, we won! Looks like abandoning friends and their time of need paid off yet again. You guys built one hell of a zombie. We did okay, didn't we? I still wish I'd gotten that part in the back to look better. I could have fit more fireworks in there, somewhere. I'm proud of you guys. Aw, oh, shucks. Don't make me blush. Seriously, don't. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were gonna head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay. New plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, 
I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Something about this feels off to me. All of my secret deals feel off. That's why I usually keep them a secret. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. Just who are you? I'm waiting. The name's Jesse. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well, I'm with Petra. My deal is with her. Not her partner. She'll be here, but we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't. Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Ah, oh, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. I'm cool if he's cool. It's settled then. You're both cool. Proceed hey. then. Yeah, my first time. I'll take that diamond now. Take it, you've earned it. It's already past 40 minutes, really. Oh no. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. Let's go after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Yeah, or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. I'm just standing around. Anyway. What's up? What's up? Nothing? What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. Hey, uh, congrats on the win. I mean, I still think our beacon was amazing, but you guys did a pretty good job, too. I mean... I thought the whole monster theme was plenty cool, but fireworks too? It was sort of cool. Your beacon wasn't too shabby. You don't have to do that, okay? You guys won fair and square. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh, everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Coolio. Coolness. Ah, see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya.